In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix muscle knots in your neck and shoulder in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So in this video, we're going to deal with those pesky muscle knots or spasms in the neck, trapezius or trap muscles, and across the shoulders. So if you're dealing with a lot of just tight, achy muscle pain, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to break it up into a very simple step-by-step -step guide that's going to target the upper neck all across the neck, across the shoulders. It's very simple. They're going to be very safe, effective movements. Great part is you can do them anywhere, at work, at home. We're not going to be using any special equipment other than just a racquetball right here. You can also use a tennis ball or a golf ball if you have one laying around the house. If you don't have one, go stop at your local sporting goods department, pick them up, they're really cheap. You can get a three pack for less than five bucks. But we're just going to really go in there, target those muscle knots, and hopefully get you relief in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started with them. So the first exercise that we're going to do for muscle knots in the neck is going to target the upper part of the neck, especially right below the base of the skull. If you're dealing with tension, headaches, migraines, those type of things, this is gonna be one that probably will help you quite a bit. We're just going to sit in a chair and we're gonna have very nice upright posture. Let's take two fingers and make hooks with them just like this. And let's go over the base of the skull or over the spot that feels very tender. Put a little bit of pressure in there and start to do nice circular motions over those muscles. And make sure only to go over the muscles themselves, not directly over the spine. You just want to do a 10 second massage. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck my chin towards my chest and then I'm going to press backwards with my head into my fingers and then repeat that self massage. And I tell you what, this right here really intensifies it and uh, makes those muscles really just tight to the point where you can really start to dig into them. Only go to your comfort level. But you want to just do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then you're just gonna repeat that up to three to five times. You can work your way down a little bit too and go over different spots as needed. So this next muscle knot fix for the neck is very good to hit general spots over the neck. You can go pretty much all the way from the top all the way to the bottom, including right here into the shoulder. This is one of my personal favorites. So whatever side that you're having a muscle knot, let's say that I have right here on my right side, I'm just gonna go directly over that muscle. Again, I'm going to take two fingers, I'm just going to self-massage it for about 10 seconds, only to your comfort level. And this one's gonna be a three-part process, and I promise you it's very easy. So the first part is just massaging it, just like this, for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then from there, we're going to slowly start to look over towards the opposite shoulder. Again, try to put just a little bit more pressure into that muscle spot. This is going to activate those neck muscles so you're going to be able to, again, just dig right into that muscle spasm, that knot. And from there, 10 to 15 seconds. And then the third part, what we're going to do is look down towards the floor. So this right here gets very intense into the neck. So only go to your comfort level with it. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. And then from there, just give it a little bit of a relaxation period and then just repeat that process of doing it about three to five times. You can then go over different spots. You can switch over to the other side of the neck, but it's just a very good way to hit all the spots in the neck very easily and very quickly. Give that one a try. So here's another easy way to get rid of muscle knots throughout the neck. I'm going to be using my racquetball for this one. So whatever side that I'm having a muscle knot, let's say here right on my right side, I'm going to take the uh, lacrosse ball, racquetball, I'm going to cup it in my hand just like this. And then I'm going to place it over that muscle not get in very good upright posture you want your neck in a very neutral position and then just use your hand to just put circular motions into that muscle spasm or muscle knot do this for about 10 to 15 seconds to your comfort level once you feel it release a little bit what we can do then is apply pressure and then we're just going to tuck the chin like this. And again, this is going to feel very, very sensitive. But you just wanna go in there, dig at those muscle knots to get them to release. And then you're just going to relax for a bit and repeat that three to five times and then just go over different spots that need it. So for this next one, we're gonna target the lower part of the neck and into the trapezius muscle, top of the shoulder right here. If you're unfamiliar with the trapezius muscle, it's that big muscle right here on top of the shoulder. It's responsible for lifting them up. 
it can get affected by forward rounded posture. So think using cell phones, driving, computer use, you name it, we're always flexed forward. So it can get very tight and achy and be susceptible to muscle knots and spasms. So I'm going to go over a spot that right here, let's say on my right side, that just feels very, very tight, like there's a big knot in there. I'm just going to use two fingers and just put a little bit of pressure in there and dig and self-massage 10 to 15 seconds. The second part of this, what we're going to do is whatever side that you're having that muscle knot, take that ear towards that shoulder while applying pressure in there in that circular motion. This is going to intensify that um, exercise just a little bit. So you wanna do this again, 10 to 15 seconds, and then from there, slowly take the ear to the opposite shoulder. And I tell you what, this is a really, really good exercise. It's going to isolate that muscle knot into that trapezius uh, right there on the top of the shoulder and allow you to just dig in there and hopefully get rid of those muscle knots, maybe again in as little as 30 seconds. So just repeat that three to five times and you can switch to different spots over the shoulder here and then switch to the other side as needed. So if you're dealing with muscle knots across the shoulder, maybe in the front, top, or towards the back right here, this is a very easy way to get rid of them. I'm going to be using my lacrosse ball, racquetball for this, and I'm also going to be using a pillowcase. If you don't have a pillowcase, use a large tube sock, a large sock laying around the house. You can also use a trash bag if you don't have any of those. But just place the ball in towards one of the corners right here. That way you have a nice, handle on it. I find that this is an easy way to be able to get in there and position it. So this is how we're going to do the exercise. Let's take our ball and then place it over that muscle knot on the back of the shoulder, possibly even in between the shoulder blades. Let's go right up to a door frame and then we're just going to get into that spot that we feel that muscle knot and we're going to use our upper body weight to drive backwards into it and try to do a nice circular massage for about 10 to 15 seconds to your comfort level. This right here should already start to dig at that muscle and hopefully get it to release. But this is how we're going to make it even more intense. Take our arm on whatever side that you have the ball and we're just going to raise it up to shoulder level and then bend the elbow at 90 degrees. Slowly start to reach across the other part of the body. So we're reaching over towards the left. This is going to activate those muscles and it's really going to allow you to dig in there and hopefully release it very quickly. So you want to hold this for about five seconds and then slowly start to come back towards the opposite side. This right here you want to repeat for about five complete repetitions. And then from there straighten the arm completely and do that same movement but go vertically with it. Again trying to apply pressure in the back and just working those muscle knots out. Very very slowly hold each one for about five seconds before coming back and then going down and then repeating the same thing and then doing five repetitions with it. So this is how we're going to fix muscle knots and spasms on the front part of the shoulder. Let's take our lacrosse ball, racquetball and place it right at a door frame right over the spot that you're having issues. Take your body weight and just lean into it. Just do a simple self circular massage to get everything loosened up. You can kind of see how I'm just rotating my arm like this. 10 to 15 seconds and then once it does finally start to release this is going to be the next part. Let's raise our arm up to shoulder height and then if you need to you can kind of just lower your body into a scissor stance right here to make sure that you have a good um, positioning. What I'm going to do is apply pressure and then I'm going to reach forward with the arm. Hold this for about five to 10 seconds and then you're just going to come back and bring the elbow back. You're really going to feel those muscles into the shoulder, especially right in the front, start to fire. But this is just a very good way to target those muscle knots and hopefully get them to release. And you just wanna do nice, slow controlled movements for five repetitions. And then you can just reposition the ball uh, to hit other spots and then switch to the other side as needed. So if you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.